So yes, now we see an example of a bullish candle. Here we have the real body, which is green this time, which is a bullish candle. Uh, we have the open is going to be down here. Of course, the open was here, and the close is up here in the high and the low. This next step is to talk about the anatomy of a of a candlestick here, because the fact that we have so many different uh, candles, they different in bodies, the different highs and wigs, and so on. So, for instance, this candle is a bullish candle. So let's try to draw a different bullish candle now. Let's make it green. It's not green like this one. Alright, so we see here this is another bullish trend, but this tells a story and this tells a complete different story. For instance, here this candle, what does it tell you? It tells you that there was a buying pressure, a buying pressure, a buying pressure, a buying pressure. And this buying pressure stayed towards the end or the close of this candle because it was a bigger body. Right? If you know, maybe you see this uh, this kind of a big wick, but still there was a massive buying pressure in this candle. Unlike the other one here, what happened? There was a buy pressure, a buy pressure, and a buy pressure, and then came at this point and stopped. And press keep pushing down, down, down. So of course, which is more interesting in terms of buying pressure is this one here indicates more buying pressure because the body ended up to be bigger maybe there is another situation where you see the same body but the wake is different so in this case for instance we see the exact same body but the wicks are different so Basically what that indicates is that there was a buying pressure, buying pressure, buying pressure, keep pushing, pushing up until this point. Because, because of someone who bought down here, would start consider a sell on it because it just profit so we start to take profits out so it just push it down this is exactly what happened here however the push was further and that means during this push down here it was not just people who bought it down here started to take out the profits but also there is a sell pressure started to come into the market here the story here was a buying pressure and then they started to take out their profits which created a slight sell pressure while here not just a buying pressure has topped but also there was a selling pressure comes from sellers themselves which pushed the market first another type of candle which is known as a doji candle. What is a doji candle? We see a candle look like this and so it's like a candle with only a wick. So you, you see it here. The body is slightly bearish, sometimes it could be slightly bullish, or it even could be just right exactly where it closed or something like this
as ugly as they look, but they tell you a very important story. What's the story behind a Doji candle? Is indecision. The market is in decision right now, so if it's coming off a heavy bearish trend and then forms that Doji candle, then it starts to well hold on. People start to make the sellers start to take profits, but not quite a buying pressure yet. So price is just holding because there is no buying pressure, there is no selling pressure. So usually. Uh, the Doji candle is just indicate indecision in the market, and usually the candle after this start to create the decision. Was it was bullish or bearish? If it was a candle like this, for instance, that indicates a buying pressure, a massive buying pressure. So probably this market will continue going to the upside.